and it's persisting down out there. Anyway, hello um, and welcome. I hope everyone is good. I um, don't know if you want to come with me today, but I'm on a little walk, well, about four miles in a wooded area. So it's going to be a good test for me waterproof gear. I wasn't intending to test me waterproof gear. I was hoping it wasn't, it was just going to be spits and spots, but it's, it's been constant sort of majority of the day and it's probably going to be constant the majority of the afternoon where well, i'm going to go for a little wander test out my gear which i'll tell you about in a minute but uh the aim of it is is just to scout out some little wild camping spots because i need to get out i'm struggling to find places to camp but um i haven't i haven't scouted places really i've got a pathfinder book Suffolk walks. I'm going to do some of these walks in the coming weeks and hopefully while I'm on them find some wild camping spots. Any advice on finding spots would be most welcome but I think it's basically you just got to go for it isn't it? Common sense. Off paths, off roads, tucked away. I may not be able to go off of where I want to go too much because I've got it in my head exactly where I'm going. But as it's raining, I don't really want to be keep pulling my map out, soaking it, because I haven't got a waterproof map. So I'm not going to be able to go too far off of where I'm, where the route I'm taking. I was hoping to dip into little places on the way, in and out, just to scout for these, scout for these wild camping spots. You know, get out of the rat race for a bit, and you know, chill out, get away from work and the concrete jungle and stuff. So anyone who does this, I suppose that's one of the main reasons. But um, yeah, I'm going to be testing out my waterproof gear. I've got, um, I know this isn't complete, meant to be completely waterproof, snug pack sleeker jacket, some simple old mountain warehouse bottoms, but I've also got a uh, DD um, poncho, DD hammocks poncho in there, which I'm going to chuck on straight away because it's going to go over my backpack. My backpack is just, I don't know if you can see it, it's just a Miltech thing, Miltech Mole, 34 litres I think it is, pretty, pretty good bag, good day pack, or even summer lightweight camping I reckon you could get away with, but winter with the big sleeping bags, the bigger mats, sleep mats, probably not, but without further ado, off we go, coming from up there, Cars parked up there, about 300 yards or so, meters. Meters and yards, a bit different, but anyway, heading down here. It's lovely to be out, even though the weather's raining, but it's uh, it is still pleasant. It's very mild, which is another danger wearing all this waterproof gear. Sweating, but anyway, I've got me uh, CD poncho on. Forgot me attachment for me selfie stick, so I'm doing this at arm's length. So if I switch over arms, that's because my shoulder's aching. But um, yeah, we'll see how this works. We'll see if I'm. I think it's meant to rain, stop, rain, stop, rain, stop, all afternoon. So we'll see if this stuff keeps me dry. I'm pretty sure it does. I feel snug as a bug in a rug in a minute. I was a bit dubious about coming out when it was hammering down earlier. Stair rods, cats and dogs, whatever phrase you like. But um, yeah, it's just a gentle spit now. I throw up a DD light, super light tarp. Cook up some uh, pork and apple sausages on a, uh, I think it's a, uh, it's a Transia mini set. Just clips in, get a little frying pan, little saucepan. Just boil up some, just, not boil up, fry up some sausages. And uh, boil up some water for a cup of coffee. Now there's lots of little bits of, to sort of divert off, find wild camping spots, whole tractor over there. Bit of a dwelling. But, um, it's lovely. I've got about four miles 
but like I said before, I'm going to start following some uh, OS, well, Pathfinders, guided walks around Suffolk, Norfolk, Essex, that area, and scout out potential uh, wild camping spots. Maybe even bring a day sack and a night sack with me. So if I'm on a walk, and uh, I can do an ad hoc overnighter. That's the plan. I'm not experienced at this. I have had one, one overnighter, where I was actually not that far from here, and I was too near one of these tracks. Vehicles going down there on and off all night, on a Friday night, I don't know. Off-roaders, Land Rovers, I don't know what they were. Give me the heebie-jeebies, but it was a good night. Then my second attempted uh, wild camp, also sort of around this area, just freaked me right out. I had voices going on. I was proper just chilling, just cooked me dinner. Maybe I had too much light going on. Maybe I was too close to a path, some roads. Probably about three quarters of a mile to a mile from the sort of car park, which was heaving at the time. And uh, but it was getting dark. It was just the day before um, the clocks fall back. So I remember it. Fall back, spring forward. But but yeah, uh, proper chilled out, proper at ease. Just doing myself a bit of grub. You know, I had the place lit up a bit, maybe too much. But anyway, I heard voices. There's two, three people. And I sort of turned my lights off. Went about 15, 20 yards from my camp. Squatted down by a tree. See if anyone was going to come. Stayed like that for about 10, 15 minutes. Kept hearing them now and then. I know sound can travel funny in the woods. Or anywhere at dark, when it's night time. And I thought, sod this, I can't. The old ticker was pumping away. And, uh, yeah. So I just put my head torch on, got up, said, who's there? Whatever, for someone to turf me off, whatever. If there's someone else while camping, come and join. But, um, no answer. Heard skittling and scuttling about. I don't know if it's people getting off their nuts. You know, I don't know pill popping and sniffing and snorting or whatever I don't know but um, it freaked me out and after that I, st I heard I still heard it maybe I freaked them out more than me but I ended up leaving it was hammering with rain I didn't have a proper exit strategy so I was stumbling through brambles through bloody stinging nettles and thickets and whatever nearly went round in circles Eventually got back to my car. No other cars there, bar one. So, but it did disappoint me, but it's not deterred me. I'm determined to get into this on a fairly regular basis. And uh, hopefully by doing these little day walks, day hikes, I will come across plenty of potential places. Here are someone else having a little wander. I'll catch up with you probably when I'm the halfway mark and I'll try not to yabber so much. Yibba yabba, quit your yibba yabba fool. Anyway, heading down there, dog walker. It's a thing I want to be away from as well when I'm out, but I'll just shut up and let the camera roll for a minute because it is nice. But not for too long because I've got to save me battery. The autumnal colours down there. Big hole here. Probably a technical word for it. But it's a hole in it. So far the old DD poncho. I don't know if I keep getting a habit of calling it a hammock. It's not a hammock is it? I have got a DD hammock but I ain't got to that stage of using it yet. But the old DD uh, poncho, it's poncho tarp, sets up as a little tarp shelter, ground sheet, poncho. Seems to be doing the trick. It's not hammering down at the minute, it's a steady, steady flow. 
drizzle. A heavy drizzle, I suppose you'd call it. Just fit over my rucksack, backpack, or bergen, whatever you want to call it. And um, hopefully it's doing the job keeping everything in there dry. Not the end of the world if it doesn't, because obviously I'm only on a little day hike, but um, good to test your gear, I suppose, isn't it? Put it to the test. And do you know what? I was very dubious about coming out in the rain, but I'm very much enjoying it. And um, unless it blows an absolute holy thunder and lightning and uh, typhoids, typhoons, then. Uh, It's nice. Look at that heathland, woodland. Ah, that thing's familiar. When I first come out on a park camp, just before all the stuff, well, it was right at the start of all the lockdown, just a sort of week or so after it had come to light in Wuhan, just before that, I came on a day camp, a night, my first ever um, wild camp. That's how long it's took me, and I've had one attempt, I've had a few day camps since, and I just, I just haven't done it, I've just got to get out and do it. I came past this, and I came from the same car park, but I sort of cut across and I ended up, see all this was fenced off, I ended up trying to cut across, because I knew roughly where I wanted to go was over this way. I kept coming to these fences, so I'd have to follow the fence line. Blah, blah, blah. Lost my bearings totally, didn't have a map, thought I knew it all in my head. Had a compass, so I knew which compass direction basically to head, which was a help. But yeah, and now I ended up coming past here, and it was starting to get dark, and I head up that way, I head up through there, and I found a spot. Now, this road, I was away from this road call it a road, use the term loosely. This dirt track, which vehicles do go down. Forestry Commission probably. And I was pretty close. I must have been, I don't know. Well, I didn't scout the area. I didn't get there in time to scout the area. So hopefully, I'm hoping to be able to get out at least once a month. See the vehicles over there, look. See the lights, a lot of motorbikes, people riding horses come through here, as you can see from the footprints, hoof prints I should say, um, mountain bikes, bikes, soft roaders, a lot of them come through here, so you want to make sure you're away from one of these tracks, well I want to make sure I'm away from one of these tracks, but all I'm doing today is having a walk, scout, day camp, testing this gear down here it goes I was somewhere a reasonable distance up there but that is the road or the track I was near Friday night I don't know boy races I don't know whatever I suppose it's not necessarily boy races people like to get out in all shapes and forms don't they but that I'm pretty sure that is the track I was quite near which gave me the heebie jeebies Anyway, see when we get round about halfway, unless there's anything interesting to say, or see. Say, probably thinking, shut up, man. I'm not always like this. Yeah, bro. Chatty, man. But, almost feels like you've got company. But anyway. Hello. Awesome. That's where I've come from. I'm going to go down there, sit on that log, and uh, check my position on my map. Rain's eased off. It is still raining. I'm going to keep track of where I am. Should have probably brought a torch with me in case it does get dark and I'm still here at that time, but I'm keeping an eye on the time. I'm keeping an eye on how long it took me to get here. So it should take me a similar time to get back. I 
fairly new tracks there. Just been pushed down and the water's uh, beading on top of the grass. I am sweltering, but I don't want to take my snug pack softy off, snug pack Salika, because I've got things I need to access out my pockets. So then I'll be rummaging in my bag every few minutes. Dry as a bone still. Hasn't chucked it down though, as of yet. It's a pine forest. Very open though, if you're in there. Obviously dark time, winter time. You've got a lot of hours of darkness and that's one thing about I'm dubious about with winter while camping. I don't want to sit there in darkness for long periods of time. I mind a little bit. I want it to be comfortable, relaxing. Quiet but out of the way, but comfortable and relaxing. I don't want to be sat there in darkness because then your senses, don't they? They go heightened and every noise, every... I suppose you get used to what noise is what. And then, but on the other hand, you got lights on. You're spotted from far away, ain't you? Then who's going to be wandering about in the dark up here? Some nutter, other than me, that is. This woodland part of this forest if they're private or anything but that's where I want to go I'm just going to check my position and, uh, well I'm standing up but I mean my position on the map is fenced off there's one of them step over styly things up there I'm sure when I was looking on the OS map because this that's that's the bit of woods not that that's a fallen tree that that's the bit of woods up there where I was looking to head. Now, I'm sure it had, you know, they have the different colours, it's this sort of light green in the woodland, public access woodland. I'm sure that had that on there. I'm just going to go for it. I'm just going to go for it. Over we go. Meow, thank you, Ned. Love now. I hope it didn't make you dizzy. Open access land in the bricks. Oh, that'll do for me. It's very mild today. It's beautiful here. coming across right across here and I try to do it the other way wind coming across soft ground I think of one of my pegs has pinged out and I've lost it down here somewhere God knows where it is shout if you see it but yeah so I've ended up just doing like a plow point off of this off of here I could have done it around the tree but I didn't have enough cordage or the DD ultralight super light tarp just tied it off there probably get that a bit tighter but but I noticed something as well with this thing. I haven't used it much. Here, look. I ain't pulled it that tight. Yeah, it's ripping. Look from in here, look. Cool little shelter, though. I like it. Keep in there with a bivvy. But look. Look, the daylight through there. You know, is it... I haven't used it. I haven't used that attachment point hardly. So I may be getting in touch with you 
sending you this footage. Look, just literally noticed it. I've used this a few times, but I've not used that attachment. I've used it on hit on a on a uh, ridge line. Look, water's beating down at nice. It hoolied down as well when I was trying to set up. Hoolied and wind, and then I heard shooting. So I think them deer. We see while they were running along and looking a bit spooked, was shooting, and I just heard someone. I don't know, like on a scrambler, somewhere along there. I don't want to get me scrambled, but I'm gutted about that. I'm gutted about that. And when I had it on here, I had it on two prusik knots, one from the corner, to have like a beak. So I wasn't using it then. So, not the best, not the best. I was looking at AquaQuest tarps. Are, um, I don't know, more expensive, but there it is. Happy, don't like losing gear. That pinged out with the wind. Wind's died down now, there's hardly no wind coming through here. I thought I'd be sheltered with that little bump. I knew the wind was coming that way, but it was. It hasn't been strong all the way on my walk. But anyway, DD, I do like your gear. Your ponchos kept me dry. The magic carpet here does what it says on the tin. That's got a hole that I've repaired, but that was my own fault for having a fire too close to it. But anyway, I'm going to get some scrambling. Here's my view from in the shelter. Nice. Nice. I need some food now. That has annoyed me. Just keep thinking it's going to snap off at any time. Look. You can see through it. Oh, I haven't set this shelter up the best because I was getting in a bit of a hurry, but it should suffice for my needs. There here comes the wind. Look. Yeah, I like this shelter. Not that, but I like this shelter. I would normally have done that. The front, the plow of the plow point up on a, up on the tree, but I had the ridge line now, I just done it quick because it was starting a hammer down and the wind, it really was. Anyway, I'm going to get some food on. I'll bring you back when, uh, when I've got some pork and apple sausages cooking nicely. Bye bye. Sausages on the go. Windshield, anyone. It is flipping, hammering down and blowing a hoolie. I've had to move that now because of the wind. It was almost non-existent all the way on my walk here. Now I'm risking burning this tarp with, well, with that hole in it. Don't know. I changed my shelter. I've just brought the corner in. I'll show you it after. I want to get these sausages rolling, mate. I'm going to eat them out of the pan. Look at them. Right, got a level surface, but anyway, I can't multitask. I'm finding burning the grass there, but I think I'll be all right. I'll shove that out with my foot. Could have made a nice little foot. Look at this. Look at this. Listen. Delicious, let me tell you. It's only a couple of sausages. I'm going to eat them straight out of that pan. With me, uh, light my fire, sporky thing. Well, it's a spoon. It's not a spork, is it? That's a fork and a knife. Fork and knife, that's... Um, a fife. Or a nork. Well, I've got ya. Pork and apple sausage, as I say. Well, nice. Literally, I've just gone one, two from the corner, each side. So then you've got one and then the corner, and I've just folded the one and then the corner under. 
happy with this shelter. Yeah, I'll chuck it up quick because it has been blowing a hoolie and it's been raining. So I've got to be more planned out with me setting up because I've had this before. I was just going to go for a simple lean to with a beak. I tried to do it facing out that way. Then the wind was coming across here. Ooh, you can imagine how it was. Then I tried to turn it round. This thing would not stay still. Then I found this easier, the PowerPoint. Just up to its, on its corner. Around a tree would probably be better. And you do the other corner, pull it taut. And then you get the other corner over there, the other corner over there. And that's your basic thing. Stick a thing on the middle and hope your, your, your loop doesn't I'm unattached. I'll shut up about that now. And then um, away you go. You can adjust it all sorts of ways. I could put it up, you know, I could adjust it all sorts of ways, but this is just a little stop off for a little bit of scram and a wander. I ain't got that dirty ever. But anyway, these sausages, seriously, I wish I bought more now. They are well nice. Fried in butter. Nice bits of apple in there. Really nice. Water's coming across all right. So I'm going to have a cup of coffee in there. And then I'm going to make my way out. Love this shelter, like this setup. I haven't set it up perfectly how I'd want it, but well, plenty of room under here. Plenty of room, like it. But very disappointed with that. Very. Look, it's pulling. Little tip, although, like I say, I'm new at this, but I've just found something out. If you're boiling a little cup of coffee or just enough for a cup of water I've added a little bit of cold water to that boil a little tiny bit more than you need because you lose some for evaporation so I had like poured that much water in but then I've then I had I don't know just over half of water by the time I boiled it oh that's lovely so that's uh, I don't know I suppose that's a common known thing really, isn't it? Not to me. I say you normally boil too much water, but I just thought I'd just boil just enough for this coffee. So I boil quicker, so I don't waste so much water. And uh, yeah, you lose some through evaporation. I don't know the scientific uh, formula for that, but yeah, a little bit more. Give yourself a little bit more water than what you need if you're boiling up one for a cup of coffee. I, I, it wasn't windy earlier. I keep saying, man, it was not windy. I just thought I'd better set up a nice lean-to. And even then I thought I'd better set the lean-to up with his back to the wind, but it just was causing me a nightmare. Pegs kept pinging out. If I was going to be here any length of time, obviously, I think I would have made pegs. I would have just sharpened them. With my foot to 18 inches long. Banged them in with another uh, bit of stick. Hammer stick, club stick, whatever. And uh, I've probably done the job, but but then I might not have noticed that. Uh, it's not like a hurricane or nothing, so that should take that. Uh, it should take what stick this is, shouldn't it? Just on a look. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not getting out there till I've got some stuff ready. Last thing I want to pack away is the tarp and the line. I'm going to get me backpack. And me poncho on, I'll pack all this stuff in here away first. So all this ain't got much. I'm gonna chill for a little bit. Touch wood, pegs are holding up. Wind's changed direction now, it's coming from that way. It was coming from that way. I'm sure it was. Well it was, because the flame of the frangia was blowing that way. Now it's coming in there, look when it's billowing. I'm going to enjoy this coffee and I'm not going to move till this dies down a little bit. There's the transy little mini set I used to do the sausages and boil me water there. Packs up into that, look. 
can't remember if I think I had a drawstring bag with that. I can't remember. I'm normally pretty good at not losing my gear. I get right upset about it, but um, I can't remember if it did or not. But it's good. It's definitely good. This tarp is good. It's holding up the... <clears throat> yeah, no water's got in there at all. That has peed it down. A little puddles here and that. It's just that. I haven't set it up the best, and it can't be too much, you know. Look, I could put more tension on that. It's come loose a little. It was hastily put up, but it's doing, it's doing my needs. It's a nice little shelter. I would like to have it. I think you're meant to have a plow, but that's up to my I'm six foot. So that's just up above my belt line. Yeah. Chest height would probably be better. So you've got more height and then slope and you can get right to the back and I wouldn't have needed to fold these corners in because that was just basically this, where the corner was at, it was just laying on the floor. I might as well fold it under and use it as a little, something to put my bag on or whatever. Although I don't need it today. If you did, you could. If you pitch the plow point low, but look, there's loads of room in here. I could make it proper, oh. Baby Bell on a paleo bar, me thinks. Before I pack up and get out of Dodge. These little cups, little folding cup, are handy. Oh yeah, nice and dry here. I love the sound of the water, the rain on the tarp. I did not expect it to be windy. I knew it was going to be raining, but it's a lot windier than I thought it was going to be. And I would have. I would have set up complete. I would have set up like this straight away, or like this, but better. It was rushed. It was rushed. But yeah, waterproofness of the thing. You know, I can't even feel. It's good, but you can't have that. Surely not. So many configurations you can do with these. So many, but the tarp tent. It's got a little open front where you fold the boards back. You know, I was on my first wild camp. Um, really good. Really good for all year, I think. You know, even if you bought a light bivvy with you and had it in there, and it, you know, obviously you've got to be warm, but kept the rain off strong. You know, good. It was good. This plow point, it's nice to put a plow point up, but it is using the term loosely, I know. But it's doing what I need it to at the minute. It's keeping the wind off me and the rain off me. And that is good. It's why I want to set up facing that way. The wind is coming across there. Just a nice view sitting here. I don't mind looking into there. gutted about that no cowbells then I thought I heard it a couple of times look at that lovely view we've had wind and rain and now the sun has come out and it's absolutely beautiful
wild camping spot up here though, I don't think. That's why it's fenced off. So, back to me uh, Pathfinder walks. I'm going to try and do one every weekend, Saturday or Sunday. And I'll be scouting places out regularly. Hopefully going on one soon, but like I say, I don't want to be stranded. Not stranded. Sat sitting in the pitch black for hours on it. I don't want it to be an enjoyable experience. Maybe with a little bit of edge to it, but not. I don't want to be sat there scared to put a light on. Or concerned to put a light on, should I say. Not being able to chill. But surely that's the reason you do this sort of stuff. Unless you're on the run from something or someone, but I'm not. Apart from society and stress. That is beautiful. There's nothing like it, is there? It's just... To be enjoyed. To be enjoyed and cherished. There's a gate here, so... It is public access land, but... Ah. Maybe it ain't. That looks like it means up there, doesn't it? Somewhere. Answers an unmade question. Blue skies and the sunshine. Pine woods. Okay, let's go. 